Hey, Aquarius. Y'all got it in. It's some early, then y'all. Get into y'all reader. I didn't do an oracle message for cancer. I might do a little short for them. I forgot it. I forgot it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for all those that subscribe. If you're feeling the vibe, you too can subscribe. It is legal. Why don't you rebel? Why don't you rebel? Extreme. Some of y'all in California with them fires. Lord have mercy. I can't take it, y'all. I got California sand in here. I usually don't put a cans over here. Oh, big up Marie Laveau. Today is her birthday. If you don't know who Marie Laveau is, get familiar. Not to try to extract her uh, graves because <laughs> people can't go there no more because somebody's trying to pick this whole thing up in New Orleans and take it up out of there. A white band or something. Look it up. You should be able to find it on Google. But I got California sand in here just to balance out the equilibrium in California. But people keep moving to California. Like, quit moving to California. It is sensitive as fuck. Certain energies create certain things. You know what I'm saying? There's so many people from so many different places that come to America, but sometimes the energy either it just be too much for certain regions. And California is just too sensitive for people to be running in and out of it like it's the border. But they had a problem with border. Um, somebody told me when they lived there, they had a problem with people swimming over to California from, I guess, Mexico or something. I don't know, but whatever the case is, they need to knock it off before it cracks off into the goddamn Atlantic Ocean. So I don't usually put a candle in here because it's so sensitive, but I put one in here today because I had Harry and Tommy in there just chilling. So prayerfully, the rain, this fire will keep the rain going, you know, because they did get some rain. If y'all from Cali, you know y'all ain't got some rain. You got some shit fucked up. So it's kind of like I got to work on elements that's kind of polar to rain. But Harry Summit been chilling in here. And that's the first person that I really recognized in a human being when I was in California. I was in, oh, was I was in Compton or something. I think I was in Compton and had Good Burger um, drive through. And this homeless lady. She was Harry Tubman. She had an energy of Harry Tubman. She really did. And nobody, uh, my sister was in the car, and this other girl that was like a god sister, she was in the car. And I told her. And she said, she asked me, she was like, got any change? And I was like, hold on, you know, because I'm about to give you something. I don't play that shit. My father asked, I'm going to give it if I got it. And she was like, um, once I gave her the change, she just kept saying it. But she wasn't saying, she was saying change in a petty way, but the change she was talking about was evolution. Like change. Like say she was reborn and she ends up coming back. And the person she ends up coming back ends up becoming a homeless lady with um, mental health issues. You know what I'm saying? It was so fucking surreal. I ain't even lying blossoming. It's really true. It really is. So, I got some fire in there now. Prayerfully, we gotta keep activating the rain and not more fires. People are causing those fires because they keep moving in and out of there. It's people's energy that causes that. Could be a boatload of fire signs that don't know how to use their element causing it. Especially if they argue and stuff like that. You don't understand that everything is really everything. But what can you say? What can you do? You don't think you're a wag job. And you talk about nature. I was just saying yesterday, I'm going to just kick it a minute with y'all because y'all know this is Tarot, CNN, BBC, and Fox News. So I got to kick it a minute. 
But um, people don't mix. I mean, people come. I don't talk politics. How the fuck you don't talk politics and you vote? I bet you I don't vote. I don't vote. In the nation of Islam, you're not required. You don't have to vote. You know what I'm saying? But I bet you we be all over the political issues. For real. But I was saying yesterday, you got some children that they have parents that just say, I, I said, hug the tree. They would think that was like, oh, you weird. You know what I'm saying? But they a hug their steering wheel in their car. Or they a hug a pair of shoes when they get them in the mall. You got some children that never really even touch the tree, but they stay in the mall. And if they tell their parents, this lady don't tell me to hug a tree, ma. Oh, you stay away from those weird people. What? How the fuck is y'all breathing? How's you talking out of your throat without a tree, bitch? But I'm weird? Yeah, sure. The masculine. Oh, shit. Y'all know yesterday. What this gonna do? <laughs> what this gonna do, Aquarius? Oh, my God. Some of y'all say it's a usual example, a different way of looking at it. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Unexpected change. Some of y'all masking us. <laughs> or somebody that's watching for masculine or masculine energy. They in a pickup with a person. Y'all know the person that I was talking about at Aquarius Reed was y'all lady. And it's how y'all be doing, trying to crack them open the path. Yeah, sometimes people just be stuck in old program. They can't get out. And they don't know how. You know, so you just keep repeating the same shit. Like, how to kill a mockingbird. You know what I mean? Like, knock it off. Why do you keep choosing the same road? Let's see. I like the cards I use for cancer. So I'm going to use the same cards for y'all. Some of y'all 33. Some of y'all 42. Some of y'all better not be eight years old watching this. I hope you look better. I don't know. The children gonna find a way to get to what adults do. I want to be grown. They look fancy, but. <laughs> Some of y'all are blossoming. So I'm happy between yesterday and today. And y'all blossoming. Y'all looked at it differently. Oh, I'm so happy if that happened for real. Feels. <laughs> it's, it's me talk, talking about y'all yesterday. Like, what is wrong with y'all? Kicking that man in and out like that. He playing y'all. He playing y'all to dance. Some of y'all know how to dance. <laughs> he looks like he know how to dance. Oh, he dancing to your <laughs> divine fan. Look at her. She playing her violin. He dancing. Y'all know how to dance. Talk to all. Some of y'all play the violin. That's dope. If so. Y'all hear my cat talking about wow. <laughs> my cat be talking of the storm. She talking a whole lot. I'm like, you must be a Libra. And if not, she a Earth says you could be a Virgo. Who knows? Some of y'all dealing with a Virgo and got Virgo in your chart. And a moon on rising place in it. Or you could have it in your race. <laughs> you got an Earth sign in your race. <laughs> Oh, make wiser decisions for your family, wife, husband, children, and the fathers. Uh huh. Some of y'all was in a little loopy loop, but y'all blossoming. That's good. Sometimes you get stuck. Sometimes you need everybody working off of dark and light polarity. You know what I'm saying? It's a circulation thing. It's like blood flowing. It's the infinity symbol. What you don't want to happen is a constant up and down too fast all the time and no change is happening. You know what I'm saying? We're just stuck where ain't no movement, where you feel like you in between emotions. You don't know what to do with the programming. You want to transmute it, but you don't know how. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes just take a shift in perspective. To be like, aha. Yeah. That's going to help y'all blossom out. Working through that bullshit. Because y'all see it in a different way. So, you know, that's shedding light on the situation. Exactly. The sun. It's real talk. Light shining light on y'all in the pathway. You're stuck, stuck. That's all. Uh-huh. 
stuck in a muse of emotions. That's what it felt like yesterday, too. <laughs> For real. Who did I say was moving like two fish? Some people was moving like fish. I'm like, come on. Y'all was moving like that through excuses. And some of y'all mates be picking up on that shit. Like, you just make an excuse to why you don't want, why you show resistance to change. When you know you want to, just say you don't know how, rather than make an excuse for why you're acting like that. I want somebody to justify it for you. Like, oh, I'm not buying it. So they do shit to trigger y'all to get the ball rolling kind of shit, you know? Sometimes when you're too stuck in that kind of shit, you can get early stages of dementia. Even as a younger person, I've seen younger people because I took care of elderly people that was in nursing homes and stuff. I've seen young people in there with dementia. That can happen because they're so stuck in programming, they don't know how to get out of their mental space. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Yeah, you got them blossom. Something happened. Divine masculine, go get a, intentionally go get a haircut and line up for your divine feminine or divine masculine. Ten of Cups energy. That's good. That's what's going to end up happening. And you'll end up blossoming like the lotus. Just stuck and budding, you know, just stuck. And just keep doing the same shit. Some of y'all had a nice good cry. And started busting all laughing afterwards, you know. Uh huh. Some of y'all releasing superficiality, page of material. Some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer. They got some of the same energy. Uh huh. That's what I see. I said this about somebody. I said somebody. I said some sound was like a muse. Libra. Some of y'all may be dealing with a Libra. Mm hmm. Libra's minds are like a muse. In a good way. Uh -huh. Some of y'all got Libra in y'all chart when y'all person do. It's just a muse. I feel like somebody get amused by y'all. You know, you, you just abide. <laughs> they don't even care. It don't even matter what you say, what you do. You know? For real. Some of y'all connected to this person for eternity. Some of y'all had a wake-up call about that. You know, just accept it as it is. And stop trying to fight it or go against the grain. But that too be old programming. It's scary as fuck because a lot of people are stuck in conscious awareness. I be so scared for people. I really do because consciousness coming through that shit is dark. It's dense. It's terrible. Like, and some people be stuck in that shit. And yes, you can be. Dementia don't care what age you is. Your ass to be in a nursing home. And what do most people do when they got dementia? All they do is cry about their childhood. It's like a record being on skip all the time. That's how my father-in-law was. My father, he wasn't no damn father-in-law of mine. They ain't how I see him. But he was, he was a pimp. He was a pimp by trade and by career choice and a hustler. And not too big because he ran shit from Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago. He really was a pimp for a living. And baby, when I tell you, when he got dementia, he was just crying and crying and my brother. He was like, he was like a little child again. I was just sitting there. I was just sitting there crying too. Because I just was like, damn, oh my God. You know, I used to see him all pimped out, pimpalicious. <laughs> he was crying. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is terrible, this disease. But I see what it is. People are trapped in their emotional body. They can't get out. They ain't never had a good cry. They ain't never had a good, you know, they never trusted anyone enough to release what really was wrong and if you check the history or you check the information or the facts about dementia all of them be start acting like they're children again just start talking like they forget shit now they forget the now moment the present shit you gotta ask them who's the president they may say the president back when they was like five or some shit something happened like for real like a scratch tv mm-hmm some of y'all are for energies. Yeah, that's y'all path. To be a teacher. Let's see. Because that's y'all path. The sun is lighting the way for some of y'all. That's, that's really y'all path. There's not nothing else to search for. And some of y'all may have been tossed up with that. Because you are amused of emotions. Just all over the place with it. Because you, you don't know how to dump your emotions off. Just order paths. Just to release it and get rid of it. You just keep on like a skip record. 
talking about the same shit, crying about the same shit, making the same excuses. And some people think if they release it, they'll, they'll be scared that their mind is empty. What am I supposed to do with an empty mind? Guess what I say? Enjoy that motherfucker. <laughs> For real. What the fuck on a mind full of bullshit? Tradition, institution, education, social structures, hier hierarchical organizations. Find a mentor. When it comes to, to the tried and true methods, there's no better place to learn than from a mentor. Some guidance from someone with experience in your field can be helpful now. So some of y'all need to take a class or what y'all interested in. You know what I'm saying? Take a class. Look, let's say that. Take a class. Higher education falls under the realm of the higher fit. A class can offer a way to expand the mind as well as a chance to find camaraderie with classmates. Honor tradition. What traditions or rituals are important to you? Try to engage in one of those now and observe how doing this offers you a sense of comfort. So if some of y'all want to do what I do, or some of y'all called to do something else, it's a ritual of sorts that's important to you. It's a tradition of sorts that's important to you. Some of y'all may want to teach a certain topic. Some of y'all may be interested in certain shit. Some of y'all may want to be archaeologists or you know genealogists or collect artifacts or collect old classic comic books or something. I don't know. But what you need to do is get into that. If you're not into it already, act it out. Start doing stuff so that it kind of propel you on that path. If you feel a little funny about it, especially if you've been doing something else for a long time that no longer satisfies you, but it's something that makes your heart sing, then you need to start doing that. And don't care what nobody say. You don't, don't give a fuck if they say you weird. What she think? What's she a teacher now? Um, yeah. Actually, kind of shit. But what the fuck she doing? She's searching for rocks now? It's not always motherfuckers that ain't got no magic trying to tell you to do with yours, ain't it? That shit be irritating like a motherfucker. You be like, if I don't shut your ass up. And then somebody else telling you, who be like, what is you saying? Why are you telling me? You know? I was saying I thought you was good. I thought it was a good idea. Like, shut your ass up. Some of y'all had a good cry or will. This came out of cancer's reach. Some of y'all may have cancer in y'all's heart or y'all dealing with cancer. But the ten of emotions. Uh, yeah, this, this cup's just, yeah, that's tears. Renewal, releasing, getting rid of old shit. Y'all fix sign. So y'all really could get just too much. Y'all be full of tears, you know, for real. I mean, full of, <laughs> full of tears. Act quite get it right in that situation. Uh -huh. So y'all say y'all can fill up a tub with the tears y'all cried or need to cry or have cried. Mm -hmm. I used to be a crybaby. I see you ever cry about that. Especially when you be healing. You be crying your ass off. The worst is when somebody tell you, you faking. You know? You got some men that tell women, you faking. Because they was with somebody that knew how to cry to drop up a hat to get what they want. So when you cry, they don't trust me. Did you for real in your tears? You know what I'm saying? Four of emotions. Uh-huh. Some of y'all drinking. <laughs> y'all spent all y'all money on wine. Yeah. Trying to find this lady look like Mary J. Blige on the back of this. And I've never seen. Yeah, y'all gonna see yourself in a new way. I've never seen this. It's in the shape of a glass. So you would just see the glass. Look, it's a muse. It really is a muse day. Y'all see them two people? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Y'all gonna see yourself so. Yeah, y'all was coming through some form of dark night to the soul. Transmute. Look how, <laughs> look how proud and tired she looked, though. She's <laughs> so tired. That's some of y'all that threw that party. And wish y'all didn't. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She got her head on her head. She don't know what the fuck. Y'all got your hand on your head here and the hand on the head there. There and there. You know what I'm saying? It's just like... When will this shit stop? You know what I'm saying? But you gotta heal. And some of y'all stop worrying about money. Y'all tapping more into your emotions. Even if you're drinking, it doesn't matter. You still tapping into your emotions. Some of y'all could be channelers, where you be kind of spirits. That's what they call liquor spirits. 
help you push through. You know what I'm saying? For real. What they say? A drunk person speaks a sober mind? I bet. Drowning in my own tears kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't give a fuck, okay? It say practice. <laughs> it say practice non-attachment as an ongoing process. Or, you know, practicing non-attachment is an ongoing process. I'm telling y'all, it's circular. Healing is like an onion. It's got to keep peeling, peeling, peeling. You like, see it in so many different ways. Y'all going to see yourself a nude. Where you might shit end up losing some wrinkles, some bags, and everything else because you got that shit out. But y'all don't care about no money. Uh uh. Y'all done with that shit. Y'all don't even care. It's something else y'all going after. You know, and it's highly spiritual. It really is. Money is a tool, and it's, but it's not to be worshipped, so to speak. Y'all get it too. I'm I'm more important than money, you know, my well being. This Pisces full moon, baby. Bay. When I say I'm about to get some um hematite and throw it around my neck. Oh, uh uh. -huh. I'm feeling about as wavy. Oh hell no, I couldn't be matching. Some of y'all feeling like this? Y'all know y'all wavy. Y'all the water bears too. Air and water, y'all. Better ground y'all energy in front of that tree. Honey, please. This shit. Get up under that. Throw the, yeah, fuck the money. Don't worry about yourself and grounding your energy. If you're feeling this way, as I'm feeling right now, all of a sudden, can of shit. Like, whoa. Like I had too much to drink. Like a fall time. This is that Pisces full moon, though. <laughs> it is not easy being a Pisces. I don't care what nobody says. And I ain't one, but I just be like, ooh, I had a mother that was one. Baby, she did not have no easy road at all. Y'all may have Pisces in y'all charge. That's really going to make y'all feel on the ground. Some, some people might try to say you tripping or you like running because you don't care about money. Some of y'all get money or used to get money. You know, now you don't give a fuck about that shit. And people gonna think you tripping, but you gonna know you blossoming it. And you gonna be vibing with your own self. And y'all masculine energies gonna be vibing with your own self and y'all masculine Aquarius women. Or if you cross watching for an Aquarius and you're a woman, y'all gonna be vibing. Some of y'all may watch one. May want to watch for pregnancies. Uh-huh. So yeah, I don't want a cancer. A cancerian energy. Okay. Stalker and mine were crazy. Pure. Look, I don't know. I'm going to leave that alone. Got a little, you got a few crazies. Y'all really do. <laughs> watch y'all platforms. And y'all got some that really learn from y'all. They really do. That's why I know some of y'all are teachers. Higher fit energy. For real. People listen to what you say. You just gotta work on you, cause some of y'all just be giving out too much juice, and you ain't got no more juice, you know. But the ten of cups came upright, so some emotions need to be released. Cause y'all could take care of yourself in a materialistic, superficial way. That's why I say release, release superficiality. But as far as our emotional well-being. Y'all can help other people, but when it comes to y'all self, y'all end up doing some form of self-sabotage. It's connected to old programming. It really is. Yeah, self-sabotage. Mm-hmm. Get y'all some rose quartz. Well, y'all sacral chakra. And get y'all some orange calcite or citrine for y'all crown for y'all crown chakra, for y'all uh, solar plexus before y'all third eye. So get some rose quartz for your sacral. Get some orange calcite for citrine for your third chakra, which is your solar plexus. Your sixth chakra, which is your third eye. And your seventh chakra, which is your crown. You know, that'll help with some of that self-sabotage. Crystals really do work. I picked this one up. I hadn't picked this one up in a long time. When I hold it, it feels so good. It just made me feel so good. 
You can say Crystal Hill is on work days a fucking lie. Just coming straight out of the earth. I get my um, crystals from a mining company. So, and they real. You, you know authentic ones from non-authentic ones. Because I was going to. I was going to buy a pair of earrings. They was dope as fuck at this store. But I could tell it wasn't a real crystal because I have some earrings exactly like that, shaped like that and everything. And I asked the person in the store, are these real? Um, they weren't even semi-precious stones. I feel like it was just a material that looked like that. But you couldn't feel any energy. Or well, you couldn't. But I would buy them and I would conjure them. You know what I'm saying? Because you can conjure anything. But it's just... It's not it's not a natural stone. You know what I mean? Of course you're gonna get a better conjure or better infusion from a real crystal than you would get from a fake one. This table right here, if I was to pick this up and put this in some of y'all houses, it would shift the energy of y'all um house. But this isn't real wood. It is, but it, it's not. It's not the best grade. You could take a glass table that you pick up from a um uh, garage sale. Once you bring that new energy in your house, you can feel the shift happen. You really can. Because it's, 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 it's full of whoever energy who house it was in. It's true. And that's why I be careful about going in certain places or I feel the energy out just like it's a crystal. Someone close to y'all sells y'all out. Some of y'all know that. That's why y'all drink here. Someone so close to y'all sold y'all out. Sorry, motherfucker, boy. Sorry, to motherfuckers I haven't seen. You know where it's in a sellout. Because ultimately, you just sell your own self out. What the fuck you sell me off for, of, motherfucker? Who told you? Change is a choice. 15 to 30. Change is a choice. Find a mentor or life coach. Yeah, this, this is confirming. Some of y'all need a mentor or life coach. And some of y'all could be this young, 15, in spiritual years. Some of y'all could be new to the spiritual path, just be one years old. Some of y'all could be five years old. Some of y'all could be three years old. Some of y'all could be 30. But y'all are a youth as far as spirituality goes. It's, a, it's like having dog years and human years. Spiritual years is spiritual years. Your age is your age. So now I'm 44 years old, but I've been on a path since I was 18, you can say. So you do the math. That's how old I am. When I was consciously aware that something was wrong with me, okay, in the worst way. As far as my emotions, trauma, I feel like I'm losing it kind of shit, stuck. You know what I mean? I need to research and find out the root of my origin. So I just went real hard studying Christianity. Like I got, um, I think it's called exhaustive concordance or something like that, where you can kind of get to the root words and uncover certain things in the Bible. Because that's what I was raised off of, so I started there. I always go spiritual first. That's how I knew I was supposed to do something. That was spiritual in nature. My mother kept wanting to call me a preacher, a prophet, or something. I was like, my, oh, that's maybe what you, how you're perceiving it out of a Christian mindset, but that's not where I see myself eventually. I may start here, but this is not where I'm going to end. Sometimes I go back to church. Okay, I can return. Religion ain't nothing but to tie back. You know what I'm saying? So tie me back to my origin. What raised me? Yeah. Some of y'all was raised in the church, too. Christ consciousness babies. <laughs> you know, it's a Christ consciousness card, too. You see, it's a Christ consciousness right there? Uh-huh. You feel it self-sabotage, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. Oh, I used to be so full of self-sabotage. I guess to get my own self. For real. Some of y'all knew. And it is, when you go, when you start your spiritual journey, for some people, it is really intimidating. It really is. I feel you. Because there's just so much information and so much to learn. To me, it expanded my breast where I was like, whoa, because I was already an avid reader and an avid researcher. So it just gave me expansion that I was looking for, for real. Some of y'all dealing with a Kenya Air Energy that sold y'all out. Uh, 
Aquarius, like y'all, where y'all sold your own self out. You sold your own self short, can and shit. You know what I mean? Some of y'all make it like that. Or you dealing with an air sign that did sell you out. Mm hmm Some of y'all may have been going through some dark nights of the soul and feel like y'all sold yourself out because you didn't take care of yourself better. You thinking about like what I'm saying, like, damn for real. You noticed that kid? Yeah, because I wasn't gonna I was I was making too many mistakes. And I knew I was, but I didn't know why I couldn't knock it the fuck off. So I just started researching and going within. I always did that anyway. Because it was what I was born to do. Like just a natural high priestess energy. For real. And I was always humble to every teacher. I don't give a fuck who, what age, what religion. It didn't matter. I would go anywhere. If they had a door, I would walk in there. If I was intrigued, just drive it. If I, it didn't matter what I, it didn't matter. If it was church, I'd pull up in there and go in there. If it was a Buddhist, I tried to go in a Buddhist um, place, but they was closed. It was like, oh God, services are closed today or something. The time I went, yeah, I got blocked. Yeah, there'd have been some devils up in there on some real shit, for real. You got to be real careful though on a spiritual journey, because you can't come up Jim Jones. You really can come up with a fucking Jim Jones. And end up drinking some Kool-Aid and be laid out dead listening to some people. They're stuck in their conscious awareness too, kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some of y'all definitely need to be a counselor. Mm-hmm, like a spiritual counselor. Or a life coach. Like I said, y'all need a mentor. You know? Mm-hmm. I'll do that too. Spiritual life coaching, I sure do. It should be on my website. I'll leave it in the description box. But some of y'all want to be a mentor or a counselor too. Mm -hmm. When you see a blue jay, your ancestors want you to consider therapy. See? So if y'all see a blue jay, I don't care if you see it via virtuosity or if you see it outside for real. When you see a blue jay, no matter where you see it, it's time to go ahead and sign, you up, sign yourself up. Whether you want to come through me, I would say do it all. I did. I did a house I did a gumbo. I went. I went. I went everywhere. It wasn't nobody off limits. And guess what, y'all? I spent most of my money on healing. All my money was. I was a heal. I was a self heal that self junkie. All my money went towards healing, and I was spending less of my money on clothes, or you know, materialism, so to speak. I was like, sure, I gotta get this inside together. I gotta find some harmony because you can't dress this shit up when I'm feeling it. You know what I'm saying? So I got to work on myself. Some of y'all feeling like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, y'all new to the journey. Talk about journey. <laughs> I'm about to set out. <laughs> some of y'all may work for FedEx, UPS, or the United States Postal Service. <laughs> for real. Or the feds. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, you need some other form of fulfillment. And there's something lacking within you or something that you need to transmute. Or you want to learn. You want to learn about yourself. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, that's the whole point. Some of y'all feel like y'all sold yourself short. And sold yourself out. And with, it was, excuse me, it was a part of the journey where I was mad at certain people. Because I was feeling like, like, damn, like, why you? But you only know what you know. Your parents raised on something, they're going to raise you on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some of y'all really want to inspire others for a living. Because they make your heart sing. What's wrong with that? What the fuck want to do with that? Hey. Some of y'all want to learn about plants here. It's just and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, it's huge. That's why I say start with your sun sign. Unpack your sun sign. It's so much shit that you can learn just off sun sign alone. You know what I'm saying? And then go through the zodiac. Each sign. Or you can use your birth chart and look at all the signs in your zodiac. And then start with your sun sign. Go to your rising. Go to your moon. Go to your Mercury. Go to your Mars, your Pluto, Saturn, etc., etc. And learn each sign that's in your birth chart. Minister Farrakhan said... When somebody hands you a picture, like a class picture, the first thing you go to look for is yourself. You ain't looking to see everybody else. If you do, 
you really got a problem. You know what I'm saying? People pleasing is you like a motherfucker. <laughs> you don't think about that. Somebody hand you a photo and say, look at your class picture. And you looking at everybody else and not trying to focus and find yourself. Why are you looking at everybody else? You're one of the people that look at other people's paper, ain't you? Uh-huh. Do your work. Get your eyes off of somebody else to this type of part. All right, two more. And then we're going to get y'all to work. We'll probably get y'all out of here. There he is. A manipulator. Upside down, reverse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of y'all feel like y'all a little manipulator. Y'all use man manipulation tactics. The first, you know, they tell you in AA. Admittance, you know, that you have a problem is the first step to recovery. So sometimes you gotta admit that you're a manipulator. What the fuck is wrong with that? I manipulate people because I don't know how to properly handle people because I don't even know how to properly handle myself. I don't know myself well enough to know someone else. So I'm going to manipulate them. Kind of shit. So y'all know that. Giving that shit up. Yeah. Answer prayer. Hey. Yeah. Some of y'all been asking what y'all have. What you supposed to do with your life? You don't know. You feel like you are a higher fan energy, somewhat of a teacher. Am I good enough to be a teacher? Kind of shit. I mean, if you're supposed to be a teacher, it's all in the remembering. I be remembering some stuff like I just remember in the bathroom. Um, the guy that I spent most of my life with, unfortunately, I, his eyes, he had these bags and his eyes used to make me stay. He doesn't know that. His eyes used to make me stay. I don't know why. It was just something about his eyes that made me stay through the bullshit. However, when I met the person that's my soul flame or twin flame as they call it I see why I was obsessed with his eyes it's like I was looking for him and him I just seen that shit flash this morning it's all in the remembering we catch amnesia when we come out of our mother's womb we don't remember shit everything is what's given to us or what we're programmed to be it is no one's fault you decided to come to earth to work out your own soul salvation Okay, now you got these programs from the ghetto you lived in or from the suburbs you lived in or whatever that you make, makes you feel that you're disconnected from the collective or the whole. You know what I'm saying? You want to be relatable to all people like Aquarius are. You're on a huge energy. Y'all love diversity. Y'all like humanitarians. Y'all don't get caught up in that race stuff. You know what I'm saying? Y'all more like a Bob Marley type. That's why I say Aquarius age is the age of Bob Marley because Bob Marley was a uh, an Aquarius. Oprah is an Aquarius. Those are visionaries. You know what I'm saying? Huge energies. Y'all just don't look at the world through a small lens. Y'all look at it really expanded. Like vast. You know what I mean? Networks of people. That's what Uranus is about. Large networks. It's good to feel good. I know that's right. I feel good. I can decide I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy. I feel like that's what some of y'all did. Just from the reading yesterday or whatever readings y'all may have been listening to on this channel or other people's channel, it doesn't matter. You're trying to awaken. When I introduce joy to a situation, I change the vibrational frequency of what's happening around me. When I introduce joy to a situation, I change the vibrational frequency of what's happening around me. That takes skill set. It takes falling off the... And sometimes you just give up because you feel like, oh, God, I made a mistake. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm such a failure. I'm like, what? Are you going to jump back on that bike and keep running? Ain't that what you did as a child? When they took your training wheels off, you couldn't go back to the training wheels because you had to learn how to roll out on the two wheels. You fall and scuff your knee up, but then if that bike ride feels so good, you just get up on that motherfucker and try again. Dust yourself off and try again. Yeah, because it feels good to feel good. Oop. You know, that's right. Life, flee up yourselves and don't be no drag. Life, flee up yourself. <laughs> when he says so, like a Bible.
you rock so, you rock so. Yeah. People are people. You know, I just want to find y'all place in the world. You know, wrong with that. When I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. Y'all looking for a new mindset. And I feel like I cracked some of y'all open. When I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. Me and other people. Some of y'all have been searching and just gobbling up information. Y'all are air signs. So y'all are mental. You know, just want to know. A mighty force of faith can set in when you truly surrender your desires to the universe. And some of y'all desires is not money. Some of y'all desires is to be of good to others. Somewhat of a teacher. I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in love, in the love of the universe. Mm -hmm. My ability to receive is measured by how much I practice good feeling thoughts. You know, since I'm going to tell you, you get in the wrong, the wrong programming, you're just going through life, boom, it hits you out of nowhere, knock you out like Floyd Mayweather. You're like, hold a second. Am I seeing stars? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you got to get rid of it. You really do. You got to transmute it. Mm-hmm. And this felt good, Aquarius. I'm glad y'all doing good. Y'all on y'all road. Sometimes the bottom drop out. Okay. You get the bottom drop out, lay in the bed, and cross them out. You know what I'm saying? Till you feel better. Till you surrender to a force of faith that can set in. That everything will be okay. You know? Don't be scared of your own shadow. You can't be scared. This is going to keep the dark side on this channel. You know what I'm saying? Transmute shadows. It's goddamn. When, what this say on here? I got myself on the back of this kid. <laughs> Look, no, for real. I do, because I really be working for California. I ain't got time. I'm going to neutralize it. Don't y'all do, don't dare do that to California. I'm trying to get back to California. What the fuck is wrong with people? They're going to slow it down. All right, y'all. <laughs> if you're feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe, Aquarius. I pray this helps somebody. Love and light.